Welcome to What's to Eat. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best and delectable and wonderful foods and treats for amazing restaurants in your community. Today I'm joined by the amazing Fortunato from Mama Rosa, who's going to show us some wonderful, healthy, and delicious foods that the holidays spend. Thank you for having me. Hi, Fortunato. Hi. So, um, tell me, where did it all begin, Fortunato? Well, I was born in Italy as a little boy. Um, I used to hang out at my uh, cousin restaurant. The name was On the Blue. And uh, he started teaching me, also was a professor of the Culinary Institute. Wow, yeah. But he started teaching me the dishes, uh, stuff like that. Sure. He gave me the inspiration. Yeah. So when I was 27 years old, after, wor after working in a restaurant for a while, yeah. I ended up opening a restaurant. And I call him on the blue. <laughs> that was in Armonk, New York. In Armonk, sure. So after a few years, 17 years later, uh -huh. I don't know if there was a few, I ended up selling the restaurant. I opened up another one in Somers, mm -hmm. which still on. Mm -hmm. It's called Mama Rosa. Mama Rosa, yes, yes. And um, you are going to be sharing today some phenomenal and healthy, great meals. Some of the healthy food that we can eat for the holidays. Amazing. Amazing. And we're starting here with? We started with a pear salad. Uh -huh. The pear salad is a mixed green. And we top them with some cranberry. Some walnuts. Great omega-3 fatty acids. We put some extra virgin olive oil. The very best. And uh, balsamic vinegar. It's a choice to make either white, balsamic, or red. This is white. This is white. And what is the difference between? Each choice of a little bit of the taste is different. This yeah. is more sweeter than the darker really? balsamic. Interesting. That's what I like. Oh, okay. Okay. So we toss them. Mm -hmm. Ooh. We drop them too. <laughs> And so colorful and full of flavor and great fiber. If that's a, that's a, the uh, pear salad. Uh huh. What we gotta do? We gotta take a pear. And pear is phenomenal for fiber. This pear, uh, this pear is a bush pear. Uh huh. Wonderful source so of fiber. Bush pear. We take the peat off. Slice a little smaller. And that's how we present on the restaurant. Beautiful. I would say presentation is, is so important. Makes every meal count. Okay. Now, for lunch, a lot of times people they ask, uh, can I have a pear salad? Can you put a grilled shrimps on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, should, we like shrimps, all right? Absolutely. So what are we doing? Great iodine. We put a shrimps. So real shrimps on the pear salad. Right. Yeah, you're going. <laughs> but we got a people that don't like the shrimps. <laughs> we should live over there anyway. Right. First but they like... Real chicken. Right. So, make you believe the shrimps are not there. <laughs> and we put a real chicken. Absolutely delicious. No, actually, you got to surf and turf over there. And it's, and it's absolutely wonderful in terms of um, everything that it has. It's nutrient-dense. It has color, flavor, texture. And during the holiday, you actually have a very healthy, healthy salad here. Remember, moderation portion is key. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Thank you. It looks wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> um, and our next one. Okay, next one, we're going to do a bit salad. Love bit salad. Bit salad that we put in some little bit of gorgonzola because too much it won't be no healthy. Sure. But just sure. a little for the taste, it will be good. Great protein, you know, in moderation. I actually put a little bit of a dressing, uh -huh. just a touch. Right. 
for moisture, right? Yeah. And again, great extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, that's the same thing. Extra virgin olive oil, a white balsamic. Wonderful. A great part of a Mediterranean diet. Which, so uh, highly this, recommend. Is, this is the beet salad, uh -huh. which uh, we put our romaine lettuce on, mm -hmm. on the bottom, mm -hmm. on the bed of romaine. Sure. Some in dive for little decoration. There you go, you got the bit salad. Actually, no, we forget the extra decoration, little <laughs> balsamic glaze. Oh, how beautiful. That looks exquisite. That really does. And you have again um, an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal salad. Uh, nutrient dense, full of fiber, great antioxidants. And everyone that knows me knows that I always say, make every meal count. What a beautiful presentation that is. That's Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. Can't wait to dig in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And everyone knows that fish, uh, wild is the very best. And um, Fortunato does have wild fish. Like a snapper. Snapper. Alibut. Halibut. Um, swordfish. Swordfish. Mm -hmm. Those are the wild that I cannot uh, raise them. Right, which is very important. Now, this is a food salad. It's already made uh, to make it about a day before. Of to course. marinate and get uh, all the flavors. Uh huh. So. It has in it. So, in it's got uh, some shrimps. Uh huh. Uh, calamari. Calamari. Mm -hmm. Polpo mm -hmm. and uh, sepia, mm -hmm. which polpo is an uh, octopus, a sepia octopus. is a cuttlefish. Cuttlefish, uh huh. So it, we marinate it inside the uh, vinegar and pepper, uh -huh. celery, uh -huh. uh, extra virgin olive oil, and lemon. Uh -huh. We added some garlic towards the end because the garlic I already did this morning, uh -huh. but garlic tends to uh, become sour after a day or two. Really. Yes. How interesting. So what happened? We had it under less than a minute. Really? Just to the garlic. Interesting. It becomes sour. It becomes garlic under the oil. It becomes sour. Really? That's yeah. good to know. So that's good because you because you, myself not being uh, a chef but cooking, I would want to sometimes prepare the garlic ahead. No. That's good to know. It's good to put it maybe right. an hour before. Right. No, much ahead. Good. That's yes. good to know. So this no that's how that. we present this one over here. Mm -hmm. If you're going to come for the holiday, which on the holiday, we got a lot of people that are looking for the seven fish that we're talking about in a moment. Right. Because uh, uh, already over here is four of them. Four of them. Uh-huh. So yes. you're going to have an appetizer with four. Four of the fish. Four of the fish. And again, it's uh, cu uh, cuttle cuttlefish, which is? Cuttlefish is a sepia. Sepia. Mm -hmm. Right. And... Uh, I know a lot of people that saw the pasta, the black pasta they're right. making. They right. say it's a squid ink. Right. It's actually not. Interesting. Really? It's, what this is, uh, cuttlefish. You got a big sack of the ink. Wow. So, a little parsley. Mmm. Couple of olives. Olives. Olives are a wonderful source of those great omegas. Again, as Fortunato says, uh, moderation and portion is extremely important. Uh, with extra virgin olive oil, no more than two tablespoons a day, but a quality olive oil. Slice lemon. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. Now let's make them better. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a nice slice on, sliced tomato. And Fortunato if shared with me that in the summertime, the tomatoes in his restaurant are right from his garden. Exactly what I was going to say. Unfortunately, this is a little too late uh, of the year, but if it was two weeks ago, we have a tomato from the garden. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so you can see here, taking into account the holiday, again, moderation and portion is key, but lovely flavors, textures, uh, perfect harmony, orchestration of everything coming together, and so beautifully done. Absolutely delicious. If oh, that's a four wonderful. fish, let's keep it in consideration. Four fishes. Four fishes. Right. 
And also walnuts, as Fortunato was using, is a great source of omega-3 fatty acid, which is phenomenal for heart disease and helping with uh, hypertension. Uh, high in fiber, very nutrient-dense, uh, amazing and easy to add to your meal um, during the holidays to make it more nutrient-dense. Okay, what are we going to do now? It's a zuppa di pesce. Oh, yum. We added four fish over there. Mm -hmm. And over here we added lobster tail, mussels, and clams, which I think you make the same fish, right? <laughs> all right, let's do <laughs> We'll put this all around. Oh, it smells so good. We're going to have a sun later, right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. Fish is high in zinc. It's high in B vitamins. It's absolutely phenomenal with uh, tomatoes, which is our lycopenes, um, which are also a very important potent antioxidant. So Fortunato is perfect way of explaining how to eat healthy during the holidays. Um, picking healthy, nutrient-dense foods. Oh, so I forget this is salmon inside. Salmon, yes. Right. Wonderful omegas. This is one over here. I ended up finding some wild salmon uh -huh. the other day. Uh -huh. When I find, when I go to the market, I I buy the salmon. You look for it, yeah. And you take a lot of pride in, in taking the process of selecting wonderful and quality seafood. This beautiful lobster tail. Lobster. A couple of shrimps. Mm-hmm. This is how we present at the restaurant. You're making my mouth water. Eat it parsley. And this is it. The dish is done. Ah, please now. Some people they ask for just a little bit of pasta underneath. Sure. We're doing sure, but but less. But you can see, and and a key to this is to know that when something looks this lovely, you can eat in portion control in moderation. You, you do not have to eat very large portions. That's right. I left this Absolutely over here. Lovely. It's way too much to put all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely lovely. One of the other things is, uh, is seafood, but no seafood. This We can say seafood or pasta. Uh-huh. I wrap it up to stay warm. That's the reason. Homemade pasta. It's homemade pasta with lobster. It's lobster ravioli. So we actually lobster inside. Pieces of lobster. Lobster not, and ravioli. lobster feeling. Yeah. There's a tremendous difference I learned when I was abroad in Europe of eating homemade pasta versus what you get um, at a store. Um, okay. Tremendous different uh, taste and feel and texture. We sell, we sell a lot of this. People, they actually love it. Oh, yes. This is one of my favorites. So everything is presented so one, Fortunato with such care and artistry. Did you go to the Culinary Institute as no, well? Actually, I learned with my uncle that he did, and uh, he my cousin, my cousin in Italy. <laughs> it so, shows. It shows. So this one over here, it's a pink sauce with touch of a cream. Uh -huh. Like we say, moderation is important. Sure. It's really it looks like it's a lot of cream, but it's not. Just a little touch in the Just sauce to give it the color. Sure. Sure. Mm, smells wonderful. Smells okay. terrific. Oh, absolutely. So this is my favorite. But um, again, uh, portion control and moderation, you're talking about homemade pasta with lobster with a little bit of cream. But again, absolutely scrumptious and delicious. Absolutely amazing. Okay, like what a, a wonderful... Like they say, um, you know, the Mediterranean diet is one of the better ones. You bet. It is. But also it's a moderation with the diet. You bet. Like you the bet. extra virgin olive oil we use. Right. We use uh, one or two tablespoons for a salad yeah. because uh, more than that, it wouldn't be beneficial. No, 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 no. And what's lovely about all your food is the fact that everything is presented in such a beautiful way. It's quality. Um, and uh, again, moderation and balance is key. Yeah, hey, thank you. Um, I thank you that you like the presentation. Absolutely. I can't, I can't wait to dig in. But <laughs> and for the holidays, everything is freshly made immediately. Correct. Right on site, everything. Yes.
That's every day we're doing fresh lemonade. We know prepare the food for one day to the other. Which is very important because during the holiday you would think that things were would be no. prepared ahead. The only thing we're doing ahead is the seafood salad, like sure. I said, because sure. you need it to be marinated. Right. Then you know you need to do one or two days before to get the flavors. Interesting. Other very than good. that, other than yeah. that, we no. do everything by moment. Absolutely delicious. Uh, Fortunato, thank you so much for being here today. It's a pleasure. It was so lovely. I hope if you're going to eat some, you're going to enjoy it. Oh, I can't wait. Remember that um, moderation balance is key, and for the holidays, you can eat healthy, as Fortunato said. And according to Mediterranean diet, balance and moderation is key in eating nutrient-dense foods powerhouses with portion control. Thank you so much. Thank you to my lovely crew. Have a nice evening. Mm -hmm.